All righty. Welcome to episode seven of Art Class with Herm. Nice to have you back. If it is your first class, it is nice to meet you. My name is Herm. I am a Brooklyn-based illustrator, and I'm coming to you from my living room. Super nice. Please don't mind the, the quarantine chic, as we've dubbed it, at the Hermita household. Anyway, but if it is if it is your first time and you now that we've known each other, we're best friends. So feel free to go back and check out some of our other classes, too. Uh, as I mentioned, this is our seventh class. So that means there are six more before this. That's a, that's a good math lesson for you kids staying at home learning there. Uh, so you can view all those on the seven line social platforms. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know how those roll. Uh, and you can also view all of our other drawings, too, on YouTube, which is my favorite way to view it. Uh, it's really easy. I can watch it on my Apple TV, just connected to my 1080p, and you can see everything looking glorious. So we've drawn lots of Mets things, Mr. Mets, Bobby Valentine. So I'm sure you'll find something that you like there, too. Great. So... Uh, uh, anyway, so the people that are coming back, uh, thanks for everyone that's been drawing. Uh, I've had a little <laughs> brain fart for a second. But anyway, thanks for everyone that's been drawing. It's so good to, to draw with you guys twice a week and to see how everyone's drawings are. So, you know, I did want to say that I loved everyone's drawings last week where we drew... Who did we draw? Oh my God, I'm having the biggest brain fart ever. City Mr. Field, Met City Field. City Field, oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> City Field! Oh my God, it was so awesome. That's how great it was, is that my mind just was so excited with it. Anyway, we drew City Field. It was amazing. I know that that was, could be a tedious kind of drawing to do because it's a lot of like circles and stuff, but everyone's drawings were amazing. And we did want to give a special shout out to three people. Uh, big props to Claire, to Danny, and Emily. Uh, these were three drawings that we saw that we thought were really awesome and just wanted to give a shout out to them. Uh, you guys will also be receiving a $10 gift card to the seven line. So thanks for coming. Thanks for drawing. And please enjoy that 10 bucks. Get something nice. Let me know what you get. Make sure to tag the seven line and tag me too. Get something cool. Maybe we can all wear the same shirt one day. That'd be pretty neat. Awesome. So uh, before we get into our drawing today, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. So today, as we record, uh, if you did not know, today is Jackie Robinson Day. So I know there's no baseball today, but usually in, in a regular existence, uh, all of our players were number 42 today, which is pretty cool. So that's in remembrance of Jackie Robinson. Uh, we wanted to bring that up, too, because not only what an amazing man and an amazing person for our sport and for our country, uh, it is also really works in well for City Field. So for those of you that didn't know, if when you walk into City Field and there's that big rotunda, like the entrance, there's a big number 42 in the back. Uh, and that's not for Mo Vaughn. That is for uh, Jackie Robinson. So I, kind of what we talked about with City Field, too, it's like based on Ebbets Field a little bit. So that's what you know, that number 42 there is for Jackie Robinson. And there's some great quotes around the rotunda and stuff like that, too. So next time that you get to, a chance to go to City Field, check that out. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to dedicate the drawing today to Jackie Robinson. And on a more somber note, I did want to just dedicate this drawing, too, to Andrew Cossey, uh, excuse me, Anthony Cossey, uh, an amazing individual. We, he just passed away. The world lost a good one. He was a sports journalist, so uh, a ph photographic journalist. So any, the best way I can describe him is any amazing New York sports moment that you saw in the past decade or so, he probably took those uh, photos. So big shouts to him and his family. I um, hope they're doing well. And uh, we're always thinking of you. You're an awesome man. So anyway, so let's let's get down to it. So today we're going to be drawing Pete Alonzo. Alrighty, so you can see there, the kind of big on there. So I drew a little cartoon Pete for us. So everyone's been asking for it. So we'll have this fun drawing of Pete taking a nice swing, hitting a home run, I'm sure. And for those of you that are unaware, uh, last season I drew every Mets game and I went to City Field and drew. So I was there obviously for 53. So I just wanted to show you this drawing that I did of it. So that was drawn and painted in the stands. And you can kind of see everybody was really excited for Pete and all that fun stuff. So I thought that was neat and wanted to share that with you. All righty. So before we get into our drawing, let's talk about what we're going to need today. So our drawing supplies are pretty easy. So we're just going to need uh, a blank sheet of paper. Any paper will do. I just pulled this right out of my printer, standard eight and a half by 11 sheet. Uh, you can use something bigger, you can use something smaller. Uh, maybe a pen or a pencil would be nice. I'm going to be using like a like a brush pen. 
So you can get a lot of these things, pen and paperwork, uh, some crayons. We're going to be using those at the end while we color and a marker and stuff. So I just gave you the really long version of you can draw with whatever you want. There are no rules in our class with Herm. All right. So you guys ready to draw? Excellent. So again, this is what we're going to be drawing with here. It's going to be our goal to get something along these lines here. And don't worry if it looks intimidating. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to draw Pete here and uh, we'll have a good time. Great. All right. So I'm going to be moving my drawing around up and down a little bit because my sheet's a little too big for my drawing table here. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw. We're going to kind of work our way down. So we're going to start with our helmet. We're going to do like the upper body, the face, the arms, the body, and then work our way down to the feet. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we just want to align kind of where we how big we want our drawing to be. So I'm going to start like right up here in this area because it's going to come up to here and then my feet are going to come on down to these little corners of our drawing right here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this down just so you guys can see it, is we're going to draw the helmet. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this like big curved line that comes up. So I'm going to start down here and draw something just like that. Just this curved line right there. So this is going to be the top of our of Pete's helmet there. All right, so now that we have this helmet right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw his ear. So I'm going to put his ear like right here. Now, the reason I'm drawing his ear here is because this is like the back of his helmet. That's what like protects the back of his head and his neck. And this is going to be where his face is. So in order to draw an ear, it's a pretty simple step. I'm going to draw two little lines there. So first, I'm going to make this like C letter C, that's going to be the top of our ear. And then I'm going to draw another one, but like down and out a little bit. So just like that. So you get this like backwards upside down number three. So then, you know, if you guys look in your ears, if you touch your ears right now, you know that there's all those folds and such in your ear. Let's give it, let's draw, add a couple lines in there just to get it. So up here in the top, I'm just going to draw this little pop. And then another little line right there. So I'm making kind of like a Y shape. Can you guys see that? It's kind of a blur, but it's just a little something. You can see it here too. You see in that ear, there's like that little Y shape. And that just gives a little, a little umph, if I may. It gives it look more like an ear. All right, so let's continue. So now let's go and draw the, the rest of our helmet up here. So basically what we draw here the helmet like sits behind the ear, you know, it doesn't go on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to our ear and I'm just going to draw a line that comes in like this. So I'm just kind of connecting our drawing. So now that we've connected the top of the helmet here, I'm going to come in the back and I'm just going to curve this up and kind of tuck it behind our ear right there. Great. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the brim of that helmet. That's the part that keeps the sun out of the eyes. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to where I started this line, kind of by the ear. I'm going to come around like this. And then I'm going to curve in like that. So if you did, I, what I did is I came around, kind of stopped like right here, made a little curve. And then from here, it came around and the little bend and curved it in right there too. All right, so now that we got our helmet on there, let's go ahead and let's start to draw our face. So with our face, I'm going to start right about here. So about halfway, if not a little bit more to the right of our brim of our hat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I'm going to draw kind of like this little line right here. And that's going to be Pete's cheek. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to kind of build this like smiley smiley face a little bump right there i swear it'll look like something in a few seconds so that's our top lip so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw a bottom lip so it's very similar so again i'm just coming up with this curve and then coming down like that it looks like he's giving smoochy lips all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come over on this side of my face and i'm gonna come down we're gonna make the jaw so this is what it looks like in the drawing that we're looking at. So you see how if I look to the right of the ear, it comes down and connects to the chin. 
I'm going to do that with it right now. So I'm going to come down here, maybe just a little bit above where the bottom of the ear is. I'm going to come down, make this curve line. Connect like that. Yeah, so it's like you see it's like it comes down a little bump and comes up and then bumps up under right underneath the chin right there. Great. All right, so we're getting somewhere. So let's add a nose. So our nose is going to go right here, like right between right in between the lips and the brim of the hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to draw this like kind of little nose right there. Kind of fun, right? So there's a little bit of detail on here, but then we'll get into some bigger lines in a second. So now that you can start to see that we have a face here of Pete Alonzo, I'm gonna come over to his mouth where he's smiling and I'm gonna add this like little curved line on the end of that. And that's just to give a little pop to show that he's really happy. He's about to hit that home run, right? Great. And then the last little detail I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little line for his eyes. So we're gonna have him kind of squinting a little bit. I'm gonna draw it right here. So I'm gonna draw one line down and then another line up like this. So it just gives a little definition of an eye there. Great. So what we'll do now, so, you know, Pete's got a, he's got a little beard right there, you know, not as big as mine, but he's got a beard for sure. So what we're gonna do is like our beard's gonna come like this. So I'm just gonna draw these little, little like little slashes, little dots. Let me show you what I'm looking at right there. So just these little, like, kind of little, like, I'm just like tapping my brush or my pen on the bottom here. And I'm just kind of giving him just a little beard. Don't worry, at the end, what we're going to do is when we color this in, we'll add that in. So this just gives a nice little detail here. And don't forget that little mustache on the top. So that goes on top of the lip. And then just a little bit down that connects it. So something like that. When I was really little, learning how to draw, I always put the mustache in the wrong place for some reason. I'd like have it like on the side of the cheek or underneath. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> so we're all learning. Great. So now that we have there, Pete has some hair in the back right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little couple little, little quick little lines down here. Just something like that. So what you see is I left a little bit of white right there because I just said this is like the end of his hair. And that little white, that little blank area, I'm gonna color that in later with our crayon to give it, I think Pete has like brownish hair. We'll add that in. Great. All right, so we got our Pete head. Let's go ahead and let's, get, let's start to add his swing in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add his neck in. So first, so our neck is right here, obviously, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to like, kind of like the bottom part of our helmet where the hair meets. And I'm gonna come down and draw a line just like this. Just a line right there. So now that's our neck. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna add another curved line. Right about here to that area right there. So you can see this line right here, this is going to be the top of his jersey, like where, where you put your head through. All right, so now we're going to start to draw the sleeve of Pete swinging. So while he's swinging, as you can see in my in our final drawing here, his body is like kind of turned a bit because he's like making that full stride. So his sleeve is up and we're going to draw a couple of these like folds in that shirt. So bear with me for a second as we go through this because it might sound kind of confusing, but I'll walk you through step by step on that. All right. So right here, what I'm going to do is we're going to make kind of like this little bump, little curved line. Just like that. So I'm not really connecting it at the start. I'm starting a little lower and then making that bump up. And I'm gonna make another one right on top of that. So now you can see we have like this like really flat M in a way. So that's like the top of his sleeve. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna make this like bend. Kind of this shape here. I really have no way to like to describe that. It's as if you're drawing and you're like, oh, I need coffee. <laughs> and you kind of lost your hand a little bit. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like that, but that's kind of the idea that we want. So now that we have that, I'm gonna come back to the start of our sleeve on the back and I'm gonna draw like another little line like this and then one like this. 
<laughs> so you can see I made these two little curved lines. So I, I drew, I paused, I moved over a little bit and I drew another little line. So again, this is just to give like a little fluid, like a motion line. So it looks like he's taking a nice big swing. All right. So now what we're gonna do that we have that, let's let's skip the body and let's come up to our to our swing, to our arm. So what I'm gonna do now to give the illusion of an arm, I'm gonna come down here. So you see where we made this like bump in our sleeve? That's where I'm gonna take my drawing. And I'm gonna take my, my arm and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna curve. And I'm gonna stop right about at our helmet, our brim of our helmet there. It's kind of a fun little design that we got going right now. So you guys can start to see that we're coming up with something, right? So now this is his arm. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start to draw his hands in there. So his hands are pretty straightforward. So this is the top hand here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make these bumps. So that's one, two, three. So I did is like, again, I came to that arm and I came up and I bumped and I made these three little like knuckles. Now, remember that you have, you have four knuckles on the top of your hand, right? So you can draw as many as you want. If you want to have more, that'd be kind of crazy. But I added three just because, so it gives like the illusion more of his hand in the background. All right. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and let's draw his other hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the right and we're going to, I'm going to draw this like, kind of like a half circle, just like that. And for those of you that have come to my other classes too, you know that we talk about this a bit, but in your hand, that's half circle. This is the muscle in your hand. So that's like the part that controls your thumb. So I like to draw that just a little bit to give it a little more definition to our drawing. So now that we have this little half circle right here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start to draw our thumb. So to do that, I'm just gonna come up here and I'm just going to kind of make this like little curved line right there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and I'm going to add these little sausages hands. So these are our fingers. So remember Pete's got five fingers. So you can see I just drew the four right there. So we have our like thumb and then our four fingers there. And then I'm going to come down here and just add this like curved line. Great, so you can start to see that we have like this like kind of a hand right there. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw his baseball bat. So I'm going to start back here. And what I'm going to do is this is like the end of the bat. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to draw these two little lines like this. And then there's like that like kind of like an oval at the end of that bat. So if you guys have seen a baseball bat, I'm sure you have, right? That's like the butt end of that bat. Then I'm just gonna add another little line right there just to give it a little more definition. All right. So we're getting somewhere with this. So we're starting to see, so that's our bat. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw like the, the, the other part of the bat, the part that connects with the baseball. So in order to do this, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna kind of like hover for a little bit. So I'm like, okay, here's my line. It's gonna come up here and this is where it kind of feeds off. So like if the reason I'm doing this is so I get like a nice kind of more of a straight kind of shape of that baseball bat. And now that I have that, I'm gonna do it for you real quick. I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna make this kind of a curve. So we have this like kind of a baseball bat there. So this mine's a pretty big baseball bat. That's okay. He's hitting, he's hitting all those big home runs. All right, so that's gonna be the top part of our peach drawing. So I'm gonna pop that up there for just a little bit. But I'll pop it there too, if you guys wanna see. So I have my baseball bat. All right, so let me get a little sip of the old coffee. Okay, so now that we have the top part done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw his body. So we're gonna start with his back and then we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna take in sections. We're gonna do the top part, the belt, and then the legs. All right, so let me show you how I'm gonna draw the back first. Because again, like we said, Pete is swinging in our drawing. He's not standing still. So we're gonna give the illusion that his upper torso is twisting, right? 
So in order to do that, we're going to kind of make like a, like another curved line, like a bump in that line. So I'm going to come. So this is our neckline, right, of our jersey. I'm going to come up just a little bit here. So you can see I put my line just a little bit up there because that's where I'm going to start with my curve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I'm going to twist. And I'm going to stop like that. So the main thing with this is I didn't connect it exactly with where the head comes out of the of the jersey. I pulled it up just a little bit because that's going to be his like other sleeve. What we did is we just came down, bended, and made this like a little line right there. So that's going to be like the twist in his back. All right, so let's come around. And what we're going to do is we're going to curve up. We're going to make his like stomach twisting. <clears throat> so I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to curve up. And I'm going to do something like that. So you can see I made this other kind of shape now. So it's like I came down here and I twisted around because this is the hips. That's where we're going to draw the belt. And it came up from the tummy and then connected to our sleeve up there. Excellent. Sorry for my slurp. That's good coffee. <laughs> All right. So now that we got this here. What I'm going to do now is I'm just between where hit like the end of his shoulder meets like the bottom of the jersey. I'm just going to draw this really light line. You know, I'm going to draw two of them right next to each other. So you can see I just lightly drew that line in there. So if you're taking a pen or a pencil, what I mean by light is like don't push down hard. I like kind of just pop it there and just gra gradually or lightly draw up and down on there. The reason I drew this, this is like the inseam of the jersey but well, like if you guys have a, if you look at your shirt that's like kind of tied in there that's what that is all right so let's go ahead so we're going to come back later and write our number 20 and our name on the back let's go ahead and let's going to add our belt so in the front this is going to be our belt buckle so if for those of you that have drawn with me before my belt buckles all look kind of the same they're basically rectangles so right here i'm just going to come down and i'm going to draw a rectangle right in the front there now, again, remember, the reason I'm drawing it up front here is because that's where, like, we're getting that swing motion, right? That whoosh, Those hips are moving. So now that we have that rectangle, let's go ahead and let's draw another little rectangle, a little baby one, right on the inside right there. Great. So we have, like, a rectangle inside a rectangle. That's our belt buckle. So now we're going to add our belt loops. Uh, thank you to Megan for letting me know that they are called belt loops. I thought maybe there was a crazier name for them, but... Not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an, like kind of like this little rectangle right here, right there. Cause basically this is just the part where the belt slides into the pants. And then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna draw just a longer rectangle. You can see that right there. So I drew this longer rectangle and then I made some space under this little rectangle. And then this rectangle is our belt buckle. All right. So now that's the part that holds up the pants. Let's draw the part, the actual belt. So to do that, I'm gonna come all the way to the left and I'm gonna draw like another little rectangle that's basically just gonna connect from our jersey down to our belt buckle, excuse me, our belt loop there. I'm gonna color mine in just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I made that like black square there. And I'm just gonna come around and do the same thing on both ends there, just to connect there. And I'm going to color it in just so you guys can see. So if you're drawing at home, you don't have to color this in black. I just like a like black belt on there. And then on the right side of the belt, just to fill it in, I'm going to come up and I'm going to connect it like this. And then that space, I'm just going to fill in with black there so you guys can see it nice and easy on my, my, um, my screen there. So we have our belt. Drew it in like just like that. All right, so we're rounding out. So you can see we're starting to get this really cool drawing, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw his legs. So this is the final drawing. So when we're drawing the legs, just like his body is turned, we're gonna have it where his legs are like doing this really cool pose, right? So like the weight is on this back leg. Like you can see, like it's kind of pushing on here. You can see his shoes are built up. And then we're kind of resting on this. So we're going to have to draw this like bent leg first in the back. 
Let me show you what I mean. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw this like bent leg that comes back into this corner right here. So I'm gonna draw it first so you guys can see what I mean by that bent leg. And then you can draw along with me, I'll show you too. So I'm gonna start up here, kind of in the middle of our belt buckle. And I'm gonna come down just a little bit and add this like kind of a line right there. So that's where I'm gonna start with my curve. You see that right there? So now I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna make this curved line. It goes something like this. <clears throat> you can see that line right there? Now, a normal person's leg would never bend like this because there's a knee, but we're having fun. It's art. It's subjective. It can be whatever we want. <laughs> so there we go. So we got this nice little curve right there for easy drawing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in the back part of that leg. So we're going to draw his butt first. So to do that, I'm going to come over here on the back part of the belt, and I'm just going to come down. I'm going to add this leg, kind of like this little curve down here, a little, little back part of the butt. And then right underneath it, I'm going to add another little line. Something like that right there. Now, the reason I have that right there is that just gives like a little bit of a fold in the back of the pants. <clears throat> so then we're going to continue with these kind of folds. So now I'm going to come up to here. So this is our first line, our second line. I'm going to come down. I'm going to fold in and then bump out something like that. So imagine that this is like, this is where our knee is meeting our leg. So you can see, so again, this is a back, that smaller line, and then that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and I'm gonna connect this part to the bottom. So let me show you what I mean first. So I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna take my line, I'm gonna put it like right there, just so I'm not like too folded in. And I'm gonna draw this down and around, and I'm gonna cut it in. There we go. So this is like the, like your calf, like the bottom back part of your leg. You know, that muscle that's there, that's what this little area represents. And then I just going to circle it down at the bottom. That's going to be like our, our pants. All right. So let's continue with that leg right there. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we're going to draw a shoe. So this is just like what we drew Mr. Met shoes or ND Chavez's shoes and such. There's kind of like this, it's like a bump up and then a twist around. So the main thing with this is that his feet aren't flat. You see how he's like, his toes are like kind of curled down. I'll show you what I mean now, how to draw that rather. So I'm going to come over here in this section and I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I mean first. I'm going to kind of draw this like rainbow shape that comes up and it's going to connect in the back. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make this shape. And I'm going to come around and just connect it to the bottom of our shoes right there, our pants. So I guess it's almost like the number six a little bit, but just not connected all the way on there because this is going to be our toes. This is where like our, our, our shoes are bent because he's swinging. So now that we have that shape in there, I'm going to draw another little shape along the bottom there. Just like this. This is the sole of the shoe. So you can see it kind of adds just a little more definition to that. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple shoelaces in here. So to get the illusion of some shoelaces, I'm going to do a really easy shape. I'm just going to draw like these um, like ovals, you know, flattened square uh, circles, excuse me. So I'm going to draw one right here and one right here. So you can see it like gives that illusion of some shoelaces, right? Great. Almost done, guys. So now, just remember we drew this like light line in the middle of his jersey up there? We're gonna do the same thing for the leg. So just to give like that inseam of the pants. So again, I'm just gonna kind of follow this curved line that I made here. So I'm just gonna lightly take my pen. I'm just gonna lightly drag it up. We had two lines in. These little details, these little lines are my favorite thing to draw. I think that just by adding that, it adds a really cool definition to your drawing, right? Excuse me. All right. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add this front leg in there. So this is kind of like 
an interesting shape that we're going to be drawing. It's kind of like, you know, at Thanksgiving when you sit down with your with your turkey leg and you sit there like medieval times, you see one of those movies. So it's like kind of thin at the bottom and it gets bigger at the top. We're going to do the same thing here in a way. And again, don't worry, I'm going to walk you guys through this step by step. So now I'm going to start up here where I'm going to connect our belt right just to the right of our belt buckle up there. And I'm going to make this line that's going to come down like this. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come down. I'm going to bend in. And then down like that a little bit. So don't worry if it's not perfect. We can fix any mistakes with our crayons in a second. Okay, great. So this is like the outside part of that leg. So let's go ahead and let's draw the inside part of that leg. So what I'm gonna do in order to give it some more definition is we're going to like kind of match it up to where we drew these lines up here, these little butt lines, right? So do that, so like, I'm like, okay, that's like the middle. So that's kind of where I'm gonna have that line right there. I come down again, I'm gonna make that like bigger part and then I'm gonna come down here just like that. <laughs> I, and I don't know, really know if that looks like the turkey leg that I described, but you know what I mean? Something like that. So it's, it's like the bigger at the top, like the thigh, and it comes down to our calf and thins out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to just like connect it simply with a curve line. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make this like up. So you see, I made that little curve line at the bottom of his pants right there. Kind of similar to what we did for the, the end of the baseball bat. All right. So this shoe, as you can see in my final drawing here, it's kind of like Pete, when he, when he swings his like front foot, it kind of bends over a little bit, his ankle bends. So we're gonna draw, draw it like that. So this is the bottom part of our shoe, and then we're gonna show the illusion of the side part. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna basically draw like a number eight. So, but the, but the heel, the back part of your foot is gonna be smaller, and then the front part where like your toes would be is gonna be a little fatter. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna come down here. And I'm gonna, that's my heel. This is the front part of my shoe. I'm gonna connect it like that. Can you guys see that? So it's almost like a peanut, you know that, but it's a, or like a, a number eight. So there's our heel and the front part of our shoe. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come from my heel and I'm just gonna come down about halfway. I'm gonna add this little bump up there and I'm gonna connect it like this. So you can see there, for those of you that, my, my hand got in the way. In the back there, what I did is I drew this little line that comes up and I connect, I stopped it right here at the bottom part of our shoe, of our pants rather, and they came up and they connected it here too. So what this is, this is, so if this is the bottom of the shoe and if you were to bend your, your, your foot at your ankle, that's like the side part of the shoe. So that's what that is right there. And I'm gonna draw another similar shape on the inside of the shoe now. So that's like our sole. So like, I'm just gonna come down here on the bottom and I'm just gonna kind of follow. Okay, just like that. So <clears throat> just something like this. You can see I kind of drew that like inside line. So I'm not going the whole way around, but like, you know, a little more than half. So I'm coming around and I'm just following that shape that I drew. So that's like the inside so part of our shoe there. All right. So a last fun detail I'm gonna do. So these are like uh, spikes or cleats, you right? To, so it makes it easier to run in the dirt on the diamond. So I'm just gonna draw some little circles on the inside of that shoe with the bottom part of that shoe, if I may. And these aren't regulation by any means, but they just give that illusion of those spikes on the bottom of his cleats there. Great. All right. So just like we did with our light lines here, we're gonna draw one more inseam, but like right here on this leg. So again, I'm just gonna come up here, draw the inside of that just really light. And pop that right there. So that's like the inside part of our leg right there. So whenever you're drawing anything, if you ever wanted to add just like a really light detail or just a really something small, like a fold or something, I recommend just lightly drawing on there. 
just with your pen or pencil, you can just lightly kind of put it. So you can see I push here, it's thick, like I push hard, and this is light. That's just a fun little drawing technique that I learned along the way. All right, so this is our drawing. So here's our baseball player. So right now, this is this is Johnny Baseball. It can, it can be anybody you want right now. So let's really make it look like a Pete Alonzo, and we're gonna put his name and number on the back. So just like right here. So Pete's number 20, right? So I'm gonna draw that right in there. But what I'm gonna do here, so it looks like his his back is turned. See how like I have like some of the two kind of cut off a little bit and a little bit of that A? That just gives the illusion that his back is turned. So it's like kind of get moving out of focus for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down here and I'm just gonna kind of like build in my number two. Something like that. So it's not a full number two, it's as if I like cut it in half. And then my zero I'll put in there just like regular, but maybe I'll have it tilted just a little bit. Throw that in right there. All right, and then Alonzo. So just like I did with the two, I'm gonna put like half of my A there. You can see that there. And you can draw this as big as you want to. And then I'm gonna spell that out, so that's A-L. Alonzo, so O N. Get my N right there. And then S O. All right. So just always important to make sure that you spell the person's name right. So that's Alonzo, A L O N S O. All right. So this is our oh, one last thing I'm going to do. Totally forgot. So I'm gonna come back up to the neck real quick. And I'm just gonna draw this like kind of, these two little curved lines. I do something like that, right at the chin. And that's just to get the illusion of our neck twisting. All right, so this is the fun part. Now we can color. So I'm going to be drawing this like pinstripe kind of jersey on there. I like this jersey a lot. I think it's really fun to draw. But you can draw any jersey you want. Uh, those black uniforms, you could have the gray pants, you could have the blue blue jerseys, my favorite. You could go 86 style with the racing stripe, you could do that. So I'm just gonna quickly color this in so we can have a little more extra time together. <laughs> and pop that in. So uh, if you're drawing along with us right now and if you're on Facebook or such, uh, please let us know in the comments how you're doing. That's you know, a little crazy out there. Make sure everybody's staying safe, staying home. You guys been watching everything on Netflix? <laughs> Anything good on YouTube or something that you recommend that we should watch? Let us know. And it's always fun. I like to know where everybody's drawing from. So it's fun. We're starting to get a, a couple of regulars on here. It's nice to have this little community that we have on there. So if this is, if this is your first time, please go back and check out some of the other drawings. That way we can have a nice uh, little drawing collection at the end of this when we're able to maybe go back to see the Mets back at City Field. And again, I'm just gonna quickly kind of do this on there. So you guys take your time on this. Draw your jersey however you want. Really looking forward to seeing how that comes along. And then let us know where you're drawing from too. I don't know if I just said that, but if I did, there we go. That's how cool it is. We have, we have a, our friend Caitlin from Milan. That was really cool. Thanks for drawing with us all the time. That's really neat. Got friends in Australia drawing, which is cool. Japan, Long Island, locally, New York, uh, LA. So it's all over. So it's really fun that we get to all draw together all over the world. So think about that while you're coloring that in. This is really cool. All right, so I'm almost done right there. Just adding a couple things. Kind of color in those shoes. And again, one of the things I always say about when it's coloring, especially with crayons, this is like a fun tool. You know, it's just, just for fun, it's for creativity. So you can be a little messy with it. Just kind of add in a little definitions in there. Whoop, my crayon broke. But, so I'm gonna kind of leave it at this part right there. But what I would say is the best thing to do when you're done is you should sign your artwork. So I always usually sign like kind of on the bottom right, right there. And we signed that right there so you can just, you're proud of it, right? You worked really hard. You made this amazing drawing. This way no one can steal and be like, that great drawing is mine. No, man, that's mine. 
a little harm right there, my little smiley face. And I think it's best to date your drawing. So um, you can just write the date. April 2020. So like uh, one of the cool things about signing and drawing and dating your drawing is that way, the more you draw, the more peats you draw overall, you can go back in time and be like, wow, look how awesome I, look how much better I've gotten at my leg drawings, my arms and my, and my peat overall. You can draw with that. And it, it's really fun to, you know, a couple of months, a couple of weeks, or even years from now, you can see how you progressed overall. But awesome. So that's our peat drawing. So you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for drawing with me. I, it's my favorite part of the week. I really enjoyed it. So I really want to see how they came out. This way I'm not just talking to myself, right? So here's some of the information you can tag us at. So this is my Instagram. It's at Herm Herman. So tag me in there or like send me a message and I'll always repost and comment on your drawings. I love them so much. Um, my Twitter, you can hit me up at Herm's Terms. You can tag me on there and please tag the seven line too. So that way uh, we can all see that together. So uh, that's the seven line. You can hit me up on any one of these connections here. And if you wanted to see some more of my drawings there, you can always check out my website at hermsterms.com. I got a couple of little zines up there and some of my other illustration work that I've done. So thanks so much for drawing with me, guys. You guys are better than best. You, you, you bring a little, little happiness to my freckly heart. And oh, and again, while you tag this, uh, we're gonna pick some of our favorite drawings on there and we're gonna give those people a $10 gift card too. So not to be outdone, little spoiler alert. So for Friday, we're going to be drawing again uh, at noon at the same time. Uh, we're going to be drawing a Keith Hernandez and Haji drawing. So this is what I'm kind of working with right now. So still work to be done. So that's a little teaser for the next drawing. Don't they look cute? I like how they're kind of like hugging each other. But it might look a little different come this time. But that's a little spoiler for you what that might look like. But have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for drawing with me. Remember to hit us up and have a great day. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.